Yeah, now we're talking. The following contest is a tables match. Making his way to the ring from the wasteland. Weighing in at 600 pounds. The King! I'll tell you one thing. I don't think I've ever seen a more self-centered superstar in my time here in WWE. Well then, Byron, you've clearly never seen the WWE Hall of Fame. Hey, everyone in the Hall of Fame has a reason to have an ego. This superstar, they haven't earned it just yet. So he has a big match ahead of him. Going to need a career-making performance here tonight. We are about to see something good. And his opponent from the Great Barrier Reef, weighing in at 228 pounds, Spike Bob Squire Pope. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition. And Corey, it's time to get the tables. Strap some athletic tape on those glasses and you can pass for the genuine article, Cole. But yeah, we have ourselves a table match. You want to win? It's simple. Put your opponent through a table. Easily said, difficult to do. Uh-oh. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Drop. I've been waiting to see that. He wants even more out of his opponent. Great reversal. Oh, nasty flipping center. Uh oh. Oh, and a reversal. Oh my God. This match grinded him down a little. What's he open to find down there? He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. Returning to the ring now. Shot to the gut will break things up. Getting carried around a bad spot to be in. served effectively, but there was a side of humble pie, too. They'll take things into the ring. Got to find a way to get out of this. Lands face first. Hoisted up into a back. Breaker. And Looks still like holding on. There's more to come. Another punishing backbreaker. That has to have weakened the back. Generating offense now is going to be strenuous. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. 
Oh, this is going to be great. Looking for the second, and now perhaps again. That's two. And perhaps the trifecta. There it is. Byron, in this type of setting, how important is it to be in control of the match? You always want to have the upper hand, but in this type of matchup, that does not necessarily guarantee a victory. We've seen competitors who've taken a massive beating when a match like this simply by moving out of the way or executing a miracle reversal. Absolutely, clear. It doesn't matter who has the advantage or is fired up more offense in a match like this. This is WWE. There's no point-based system. It's about getting the job done by putting your opponent through the table. A big clean hit from the table. He just keeps dealing out punishment with every move. Things are playing out exactly how he envisioned. Oof, nails the midsection. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. The oh, wicked kick to the lower back. He's taking some good hits. Quick return to the ring. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Ooh, him playing the trick here. Getting him into the corner. Clubbing shot between the shoulder blades and now perched. On the middle rope, Tornado DDT. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Yeah. Looks like setting up for a suplex. Going to finish things off. Up into a fireman's carry position, rolling through, crushing impact.